welcome to the Smith School's News Program. I am Diana. And I am Hughes. Today is Friday, March 9, 2018. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. I hope everyone is enjoying our One School, One Book titled Apple Blossom the Possum. Here is Miss Ford with an update. Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Ford. I hope that you're enjoying our One School, One Book title, Apple Blossom the Possum. This week, we read chapters 1 through 8, and on Sunday, we will be starting up again by reading chapters 9 and 10. Boys and girls, if you would like to read with our Smith School Mystery Readers, just a reminder, you can find those videos on the Apple Blossom the Possum page on my website. Thanks so much, and happy reading! Thank you, Miss Ford, for bringing this wonderful reading adventure to Smith School. Last week's reading adventure for Read Across America Week included activities that were participated by the entire school as well as individual classrooms. Let's take a look at one of the classroom's activities. Thank you, Ms. Roberts' class, for sharing your Read Across America Week fun. This week, Smith School had an assembly on important topics such as bullying, respect, and manners while using puppets. Let's take a look. He loved apples, so everyone called him Apple Jack. He wasn't very nice to the other kids. In fact, he was kind of a bully. He made kids bring him an apple every day. Oh, apple Jack, I'm not talking breakfast. Apple Jack. and I look like a sack of potatoes. I was just being honest. You were just being mean. Why don't you do what the cookie says? Try being nice and you'll be rewarded. How will I be rewarded? I remember. I'm sorry for the way I acted. I wasn't very nice to you. You certainly weren't. I apologize. Please forgive me. Well. I don't know why I said it. Sorry. What's gotten into you? Why are you being nice? I just don't want to be mean anymore. Wait. Thank you to the PTA for bringing Sadeki's puppets to Smith School. What a fun way to learn these valuable lessons. As you know, Smith School, the fourth grade students are continuing to share their stories, inspired by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Each story is written either about a person whose footsteps they want to follow, in or is speaking out an important matter. Today's story will be shared with you by Marcos and Mr. Merchant's class. I'm inspired by my mom because she has lots of jobs and she is so hardworking. My mom is, is so organized because she sometimes organizes my games. I want to follow my mom's footsteps because I want to be successful like her. She gains a lot of money so we can pay the bills. Another reason why I want to follow her footsteps is because I will have enough money to buy games that I like. I also I chose my mom because she can be a great example, and I also feel bad that she has to work so much. I don't see her a lot. This is how I will follow my mom's footsteps. I work hard. I will work hard like my mom. I might work at the same place where she is working right now. If my mom wakes up at 4 o'clock a.m. and goes to work, I will do the same thing when I am all grown up. 
I will save my money so I can get new things. Of course, I won't get married because then I will disagree with my wife and say that we need this or that. So if I just live my life by my own, then I will accomplish some goals that I want to do when I have my own money, house, and pet. This is why I will follow my mom's footsteps. Thank you for sharing your story, Marcos. You can continue to hear the fourth graders share their stories each day on the morning announcements. That is our show for this week. Thank you for watching the Smith School News Program. And as Miss I would say, remember to make the right choices, and the choices are always your own. Have, Have a, a great, great weekend! weekend.